Hello everybody, my name is Tuba Splat and welcome to my Sorry Captain Longfellow. <laughs> my Fallout 4 uh settlement series. So here I am starting off in Sanctuary Hills. I've got Captain Longfellow with me since I'm still making my way through Far Harbor. Um so I have done all of Fallout 4 a few times and I just wanted to I just want to say like I've played this since the game came out and I know I'm really late to the party showing off settlement videos um, settlement build videos but um, I just I don't know it took me a very long time to figure out like any of the major decisions I need to make okay Longfellow you're getting really kind of obnoxious um, like it just took me a while to really figure out like what decisions I want to make and especially for this character who is well not right now <laughs> he's the representation of me as if I existed in the Fallout universe um, so I am a Minuteman at heart I I don't know if I had to side with a faction to destroy the Institute I would probably do the railroad but I did that already on a different character um, but I'm kind of realizing sometimes my settlements get attacked by the Institute and it like they're not hostile toward me but they are to my settlement just to um, eliminate any synth that's in my settlement so I've only had it a couple of times and like if it continues I'm just gonna destroy the Institute with the Minutemen because it just does nothing but annoy me so anyway Proceeding on with the tour, um, I used all of the existing homes that weren't destroyed in the fallout, pun intended. So I've got, and I'm only going to show one of these houses because they're more or less the same thing. So in each house I have a small living room, I've got, a, um, got rugs from the creation club, I've got a table, coffee or dinner table, and a refrigerator and a stove, and then the bedroom. Whoa, that looked really inconspicuous as if he was like going to the bathroom in that corner. Um, so yeah, that's kind of more or less what each of these houses are, and I think possibly every house might have a water pump their own personal water pump I don't know off the top of my head but I do have the 40 water no that's not the 40 that's the 10 whatever the, the second smallest um, the second largest excuse me water pump because I kind of built these settlements as I went on through the story I didn't um, collect all the resources and go to town building them all at the same time so and then <laughs> then we have a Slocum's Joe in my Sanctuary Hills because the Slocum's Joe DLC dropped at one point and I'm like I need somewhere to put these so I built a few and you will see them in later videos and here we got Slocum's Joe I swear at this one, it had the buzz bites. I had it somewhere. I thought I had it one on top of the donut boxes, but I don't, apparently. So, just a small Slocum's Joe. And then we got the mannequin back here with the merchandise. I like to think that it's kind of like the merchandise corner. Settler work in the counter. The donut fryer, the coffee brewing station only one light no we got two lights I'm sorry and the uh, I love this this was like the best thing ever added to this game honestly is automatic closing doors because uh whenever settlers open doors and they just leave them open oh that, that just bugs the living hell out of me so I'm really glad they added automatic closing doors okay um here I've got my bar. I made it out of the boxcars in 
Ooh, I'm not sure what DLC. I want to say Wasteland Workshop. I could be wrong. I don't know off the top of my head. But here I've got my bartender. I got a couple of stools, some seating areas. I wanted to make use of the box cars because in any of the settlements I've done in previous saves, um, the I never used them, but I really wanted to this time around. And from the help of Oxhorn, another Fallout uh, YouTube channel, uh, he had a video dedicated to the spawn locations um, for every settlement. So I used that video as a guide to laying out my defenses. So there's a spawn location here. Oh, I'm sorry. Then there was another enemy spawn point way over here next to the river. There's one... I think it's on... I think it's on this island over here. I might be wrong. It's like some... Or maybe like closer to the bank. But I think the... Well, lately the last few times I've been attacked... Um, well, no, I actually don't get attacked here all that often. I've gotten attacked by raiders a few times, but a lot of times... When I came here... For another feature that's in the settlement, um, I had mongrels attack. So yeah, everything's roughly the same. The only members of the Minutemen I kept here were Mama Murphy, uh, and the Longs. Huh? I kept uh, Preston and Sturges in the castle. And here I've got a little marketplace. You're, you're kind of like one-stop shop for everything. So we got weapons, a doctor, junk store, armors, clothes. And we got a barber over here. And then just another little lounging area with a, another rug and potted plant from the community club. Creation club, excuse me. But I should also probably also add that there's no mods. This is all vanilla. Got the <laughs> giant vault tech. Uh, wow, the uh, the Fallout Boy. There we go. Got him in the middle of my shopping area. Come on, Longfellow. There we go. And I did replace every single light that was here. And I will show this later as it gets dark. I'm sorry. Or, I, I wouldn't be very good company right now. I um. I replaced, like, because there's a lot of the dilapidated lights, and it's always the same light. I replaced every single one of them that were already pre-existing, and I just replaced them. And obviously there weren't as many lights because the wires didn't extend all that far. Um, so I just added more. Um, yep, here's my scavenging stations and some... Quite a few generators because at this point when I was making this element I didn't have hundred a lot I didn't have a hundred power generators. Um so yeah. Then over here I've got my power armor state power armor working station. I went around to every military checkpoint in the game and collected as much of the parts and the skeletons as I could. Um, so these are all the full sets besides, I'll, I'll make my way through as I do another tour when it gets dark out. So I've got a full suit of X01, T51, the 45, and another 51. Um, with the Onyx paint job from Creation Club, military paint, the pink hot rod, and then the Slocum's Joe X01. And then inside, I have a bunch of skeletons that are kind of done. Um, I, I would ideally like to have a suit of power armor at every settlement, but I don't know if that's super realistic or not. At least some of them that already come with uh, power armor frames. So I've got just like giant mix and matches of uh, power armor parts and then this one's exclusively all the uh, legendary pieces so the piezo nuclei power armor chest and Tesla's fist and then just you know mix and match pieces 
And here's how I organize them with helmets, torsos, left arms, right arms, you get the idea. Come on. It didn't even sound like it closed. Anyway. So, like I was saying, that sometimes this gets attacked by mongrels, and this is the reason why. It's because of the dog cage, because this is where I... Before the million and one dogs that were added to Creation Club, um, this was my main source of getting junkyard dogs for settlements that already weren't maxed out. Also, speaking of dogs, dog meat should be here. I don't know where he is. But he's here in Sanctuary. So, yeah, I got the cages for the dogs, and <laughs> at this point, if I had to restart this file, which I won't, um, I would not be using Junkyard Dogs, I would be using all the Creation Club Dogs. And then I built a gym. As you can tell, there's an invisible person on my dumbbells. Um, so I got a couple of the gym stuff from Vault Tech. Because it increases happiness. And right now it's... Last I knew it was 60 something. Yeah, it, about, it got bumped down to 62 because sometimes... My settlements will... Um... I don't know, they'll bug out and say like there's 30 people. When the max amount of settlers I have in each settlement are only 16. And sometimes like I'll go to the map on the pit boy and I'll be like, oh yeah, you got 30 people in Sanctuary. That's literally what happened before I came here. It's like, uh, no. So normally I think it's roughly 84 or 6. I think it's like 84 then somehow with the gym and I don't know how much in effect the Creation Club stuff um, counts towards happiness, but I, it gets to like 80. Six, and then this is uh, spawn point number three. It is back here in this area. Normally, this is where all the mongrels attack because I don't know if it's because I have the cage spawner right there, but most of the dogs, mongrels, attack here, and all the bodies are gone. So that's good. All right, now let's take a tour of sanctuary when it's dark. Alright, and here we are again. It is now dark in Sanctuary Hills. It's roughly midnight. I actually need to look just for something. Okay. Um, I needed to make sure for whatever reason I didn't get an alert since I turned off my HUD. So it's a more cinematic experience for you guys. Um, since I turned HUD off, if I got it if any of my sellers were under attack, and it's not. So as you can see, as you go around the loop, a tons of lights, so it's lively in here. And there's actually, no, there's one light that was here. I didn't add more over here, and I'm not sure why, now that I think about it. But here you go, you see all the lights. Lights all the way down the street. And I didn't do anything to my home because like my Nate and Nora's home because it's it's their home and I just choose not to live here. Normally I would choose to live in here, but I don't. And I just kinda left it the way it was and I did pick up the uh Grognak. Oh and this is oh that's where I have my population settlement. Okay. Um But yeah. Otherwise Sanctuary at night, and it's pretty, it's lively. And if you go down the road further, if you're coming from Red Rocket, just seeing like the giant Slocum's Joe just out in the distance looks really kind of weird. Um, but yeah. Sanctuary at night. So that is it for Sanctuary Hills. I was thinking about covering every settlement in this series, but I feel like because some of the smaller ones like Abernathy Farm, Finch Farm, uh, Outpost Samoja, basically a lot of the like 
farms that already like a lot of the settlements that have people in them already again Abernathy and Finch farm um, I didn't do anything to them I upped their defenses and otherwise that's about it I didn't do much of anything else oh, I'm sorry yeah, I forgot to mention this is where I have my Hellfire Power Armor from Creation Club um, but I didn't do a whole lot to the smaller ones I only just added again defenses and I added supply lines uh, also uh, Codsworth is my supply line from here to Red Rocket so he doesn't have to travel very far uh, actually let me show you what my supply line map looks like um, I don't have anybody living in Covenant because there's some glitch where all the items are set to owned and because I'm on console there's nothing I can do about it and then also I didn't make I did not make Bunker Hill a settlement because I didn't know it was a settlement until, I don't know, I think I did my railroad character. I noticed, oh, there's a workshop thing over here. Then it's like, oh, not a settlement. I'm like, okay, this is a settlement that I did not know was an actual settlement that I can mess around with. So I'd rather just leave it be. Um, but because Fallout is always buggier than all hell, um... The game decided, you know what? Just to piss you off, we're going to send a supply line from Coastal Cottage to Bunker Hill. And the same with either County Crossing or Finch Farm to Bunker Hill. And then more recently, from Jamaica Plain to Bunker Hill. And just... Oh, God, that really bugs me. So, some of the settlements I'm not going to cover are Abernathy Farm. Uh, over... Gray, Gray Garden, Oberlin Station, uh, Somerville. I'm debating on my Vault 88 because it's not great. <laughs> I will say that. Um, I'm not going to cover the Magnus Slayer. There's only one. There's only one person living in there, and it's just a supply line robot from Magnus Slayer to either Nordhagen or to County Crossing. Uh, I'm not going to cover Green Top. And otherwise, that's. Oh, and I'm not going to cover Finch. So, any of the settlements that already had people living in there that weren't empty, I'm not covering. So, there's that. And then also, I'll cover my home in uh, Diamond City. Um, so, yeah, I'll do all that. And I'm, I'm not done. I'm done with the story for Far Harbor. Um, I've only built a player home for me in Far Harbor. Other than that, I have not done Nuka World yet on this playthrough. Hopefully by the time I get all the other settlements on the Commonwealth recorded, I will be done with Far Harbor and then I'll be moving on to Nuka World. So hopefully everything works out. Um, actually, I don't even know where everybody hangs out unless everybody's asleep. For some reason, sometimes they like to gather, like, right here. Like, in between Slocum's Joe and the bar. Nope, they're all in bed. Can't remember if I had my bath this week or not. Same. But, uh, yeah, so that's Sanctuary Hills. We'll move on next to the Red Rocket. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time.